Decado is back. Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're looking at the DX Neo Deco Driver. It's uh, crazy, like everyone's watching Zio and they're more excited for him than the main character because his acting kind of sucks. Storyline also kind of sucks, but it's getting better, so fingers crossed that the last stretch of the series would be good. But anyway, today we're looking at the Neo Decker driver, and uh, if you want to look at sound tests of the belt, there are other videos for that. I'll be uploading them all on the same day. You can check out those sound videos there. And uh, yeah, let's just open this up and take a look. Just a quick look at the box. Despite being a DX toy, this is sold like it was like a proper premium Bandai item, almost like a CSM. It has its own sort of outer packaging, cardboard box. And then underneath that, the box itself doesn't have the stupid flap that I always complain about that they use for, you know, like shipping and like shelves and the shops and all that. And the overall box art is also very nice. I really like how they've put the pink and the green as the whole box art and the black just makes everything seem a bit neon. Total box shows the Neo Heisei, but of the box shows old Heisei and you got side of the box this is the same as the original DX I believe so is this picture but on the back you also have this very nice layout it doesn't go into details on how to play the toy this like regular DX releases this is clearly made for an older market older audiences and they don't need to you know jam it in your face what this thing does on the back of the box like regular DX stuff top tray with the instructions taped to the side we're not gonna look at this because let's be honest we all know how to play with the dx deco driver by now and you will know how to play that by the end of this video and uh this is all nostalgic feels right here now all these other components have baggies all of them i've already taken that apart the uh, belt the buckle got the back piece you got the extra belt lining there and of course all of the cards in this little baggie very nostalgic because all those years ago when I first picked up a DX driver, it was Comrade Decade. My first Super Best was Comrade Decade and then CSM and then now this one. It's all Decade that started it all. Ooh. And then I'm pretty sure at some point we might get another CSM release. of buckle here is based on the original DX of course with this side permanently attached to it. There is no paint detail overall on the black plastic. Everything is just molded in. The decade words are printed and instead of the three different colors we just have the pink coloring there on these transparent tubes. I do not have the original DX to compare it to anymore but here is the CSM where the decade word is actually etched in. There's actually paint texture like some weathering effects going on on the inside engineering and of course we have the three colors there with white inside whereas I think the original one was just transparent plastic there. This of course has the detachable belts on both sides and this one has this one etched in. Now uh, the CSM stuff does fit in on this side and you might be curious to think, hey, if I just remove the screws here, can I remove this and use this black But Well, the short answer is no. The long answer is kind of yes. You see this hole here, there are these two bars, these poles sticking out, that get in the way, and you're gonna have to cut them off for the CSM belt to slip fit in there because this square hole, this rectangular hole, is the right size. The CSM belts can fit in there. Not only do you need to cut those two bars, if you look at the base plates here you can see where the regular belt slots in, the clips in there, and there are no clip holes on this side. So you will need to make two cuts on top of the bottom there. So two holes and remove these two bars and you'll be able to use the CSM belt with this. But that also means you're not going to be fitting the original DX belt back in here because well the bars are going to be missing so this bit here is just going to stay loose forever so you're permanently damaging this so you gotta re-decide do you want to use this with the DX belt do you want to damage it and use it with the CSM stuff the two actual driver bits this one again just copies the old DX stuff. Like it wouldn't cost Bandai anything extra if they used this button for the CSM. Just take the mold, take the shell of this one. Instead we have this pink button popping up again and it serves no purpose. Is this hard for kids to pull out if a kid buys the new one? I don't think so. CSM, there's a metallic foil sheet inside to better reflect everything. And of course it's not in here, it's just pink. So um, I recommend anyone to take this apart and at least make it white so the light reflects better, maybe. 
The printing on the logos is okay, but it's again not as detailed as uh, the one on here. And I don't know why that's a cost difference. Like it would cost them the same to have the same stamps to stamp these things back on there. But no, they've gone with the slightly blurrier print. Now we can't compare the Neo Heisei stuff with the older ones, the lines are thicker, even Ryuki the eyes are harder to see, whereas it's very sharp here, they could have easily just used this stamp and just stamped it on there. As for the Neo Heisei stuff, Wizard and O's are the worst, they just get very blurry and then hard to see, but the other ones are relatively okay. Quick look at the bottom here, standard stuff, and quick look at the back. For the full sound demo and comparison between the sounds, you can check my channel and check out those other two videos. But in this review, I will tell you that the Neo driver is a bit louder than this one. And in terms of reading the regular Henshin cards, the sounds in this one are in most cases, 90% of the cases, longer than the CSM. All the transformation sounds are longer. This belt can read the complete form cards from here and the sounds again also longer and they also pronounce the names of the final forms this belt can read all of the final form rides and the final common rides and all those special cards but here are the things that it cannot read it would just do a generic sound for any of the Telebi Coons, Telebi Magazines, or any of the testing cards that will make the driver, the old DX1 and the CSM list out, for example, all the Showa names or all the Heisei names, all of their sound effects. Those do nothing here. They just go ch -ch and that's it. As for uh, different form rides, changing forms and stuff, it will just say form right Kuga, Agito, just say the names, it will not actually list the actual form changes. Same as with all the attack rides, those have referred back to just announcing attack right Kuga, attack right Agito, etc. So even though it can read pretty much all of the CSM cards, it will not do the actual names or the actual sound effects. Show Riders also do not have their transformation sounds, they just list out the names, much like the original DX driver. And another odd thing that I've uh, found out is, is that if you use the new cards from the new driver in the old CSM stuff, for some reason, mine doesn't read all the cards, even though they have the same barcode, often than not i will get an error message which just goes beep beep and it doesn't actually read the card uh, i can't tell the difference between the old cards and the new one I, I just don't know what the difference is maybe it's the difference in plastic material thickness or the way it's been cut some new cards work in csm here and some don't so what about the dn driver the csm dn gun seems to be able to read all of the neo drivers cards but of course when we do get to some of the newer riders, final attack ride stuff, I guess they just use some of the older barcodes because the DN driver will list out some random sounds from the past. So they're just using old barcodes for new cards to try and activate new sounds in the Neo Decade driver. That's where the hidden sounds came from the CSM driver. For those of you who don't remember, you can actually get barcodes that go all the way up to Kamarada Drive in the CSM driver. Not all of them have full Henshin sounds, but the names were there. So that's kind of interesting, like they were already planning some of the chip sounds in the CSM driver that were already going to be in the Neo ASA belt. They were just looking that far forward, they weren't sure they were able to get the original actor back or the new belts, but they were already pre-programming that all the way back when the CSM driver came out a few years ago. By the way, here's the old K-Touch attached to this, and of course it fits, why wouldn't it? And uh, so Bandai, when's the CSM for this coming out? Or the Ride Booker? We need CSMs for those toys. A Ride Booker especially, because the size on that thing is just... I mean, the book itself is already too small, and then the, the entire sword's become like a little butter knife. What's going on there? Just give us that, please. And finally, this belt can read the DN Henshin noises, that's fine. And it can also read the DN attack ride cards, but they just say attack ride DK. As for all the secondary rider cards that came with the CSM DN gun, it just says come in rider, and that's it. So you can still read the barcodes, but again, there's, there's no play feature there. As for the Kaijin ride, the monster ones from DN, those just give an error message. Overall, I really like the new color scheme. I think everything contrasts really well. The belt looks good. Playability is quite fun. 
and uh, yeah. So overall, I really like the look of this thing. It just looks really nice. It just reminds you of like Grape Tango or any Tango can with the black and the pink. Just sort of has a neon glow to it. The color selection is just excellent. On the upsides, it's really fun to have all those new sounds from the Neo Heisei era. And in 10 years, if they release a third one with another 10 new sounds, I'd happily pick that up and buy that as well. The downside is I really wish they could have kept some of the CSM upgrades in here. It would have cost Bandai no extra to include the smaller button, for example, or the higher print quality on these stamps, because that's all they do. They just do pad printing on these logos. They could have kept the higher quality ones. I don't know why they switch to the lower quality ones like the old DX driver from 10 years ago. I also wish that they altered this clip area, made it detachable because come on, it's been 10 years. Like all of the new DX drivers don't have something like this on their belts anymore. This really could have done with that upgrade as well. I'm also wondering how much money they save by reducing the sound chip in here because as I explained earlier or you can see in some of the sound videos, this driver can read most of the CSM cards. It just has no corresponding sound for it. It just does a generic and that's it. So it can still read it. It still can register the stuff, but it just has no sounds for it. So how much money did they save by having a slightly smaller or slightly less complicated chip inside there for the sound reading? That's kind of annoying. But overall, if you like Camerata DK or you like Camerata in general, this is still a really good toy to get. For its original price, you get all the main Henshin sounds of all of the Heisei Riders, and that's pretty excellent. With the upcoming Neo DN driver, you're gonna get more sounds here. But if you see one of my videos, I've actually found a few of the final sounds in here from some of the old cards where they recycled the barcodes. Unfortunately, this belt is really expensive now. The price has just shot up. If you didn't pre-order it a few months ago, you're kind of stuffed right now for getting this. So hopefully you can get this at a relatively decent price and perhaps consider pre-ordering the Neo DN driver now. Maybe pre-order an extra one. So when that price jumps up, you can trade in the second Neo DN drive that you bought and try to get yourself one of these. As a Kamen Rider fan, this is really fun, really great, and uh, yeah, I just can't recommend it enough. As always, if you found this video useful and enjoyable, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this driver. Did you manage to pick one up or are you really jealous because you didn't get one and you really want one right now? As always, you can support this channel by clicking the like button, dislike button, share this video with other people, and of course, turning ad block off. Please check out my other sound test videos, as well as a CSM comparison video and a DN driver comparison video. You can also support this channel by turning ad block off or heading over to Patreon and doing it that way. But as always, take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. The next belt I'm going to review is, of course, the one and only Kamen Rider Cougar.